G'day, in our house we would buy a tub of hummus a week, which if multiplied by 52 weeks a year is enough to buy a used Camry. Not the least of which the store-bought stuff contains oils that you probably don't want to be eating on bulk. So here's how to make it at home for a fraction of the price. Into a food processor we are going to add a quarter of a cup of tahini, the juice of one large lemon and one clove of minced garlic. We're then going to run the food processor for one to two minutes. Doing so not only ensures we fully break down our garlic, but I found making this tahini lemon paste makes for a creamier, fluffier hummus. We're then going to strain a 15 ounce or 450 gram can of chickpeas, keeping the liquid that it comes in. This liquid is called aquafaba and we can use it later. So in go our chickpeas, along with two tablespoons of olive oil and half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Then mix for a further two minutes or until your food processor isn't achieving anything anymore. It should look something like this. To transform this mixture into a creamy, fluffy, whipped hummus, there are two schools of thought. Either slowly add in some tablespoons of the aquafaba that we kept before, or ice blocks. I'm going to play it straight down the middle and add half a tablespoon of aquafaba and half an ice block. Mixing for a further minute or until we see the consistency of the mixture change into the creamy, fluffy, buoyant hummus we are after. I then like to taste, season with salt, with a teaspoon of aquafaba just to help it mix through one last time. And that is that. If you're having friends over and you want to plate this up real nice, make a little well in the middle, add some olive oil, smoked paprika, and a nice line of parsley. Now, if your friends decide not to show up and you're left with a lot more hummus than you're prepared to eat, this will store in the fridge for up to a week, but it also freezes very well. So you can put it in containers, pop that in the freezer, then just get it out and pop it on the counter for it to de-thaw or use the old microwave. Thank you very much. Bye.